if we look at the uh, vast crowd in Westminster Hall today, there is one man in particular who has a special interest in uh, today's proceedings because he is Michael Ellis, uh, a Conservative MP, He's chairman of the All Parliamentary Group for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee. He's the one uh, who persuaded members and peers to dig deep into their pockets and to contribute. I think it's £85,000 for a gift, and the gift is a new stained glass window as, as a diamond jubilee gift for the Queen. It'll be formally unveiled a little later on, but we can give you a sneak preview because we visited the studio in North London where it was made. The stained glass was something that we thought would work well, and it came about because uh, in 1977, the House of Commons then got together and organised a fountain uh, below Big Ben for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. And in 2002, for the Golden Jubilee, a sundial was put in near the House of Lords. But um, it looked as though nothing was in the pipeline about 15 months ago for the Queen's Diamond Jubilee as a gift from members of both houses. Here's a, a unicorn, which is... Oh, um, wonderful. Which is uh, looking pretty gorgeous, really. I, I it actually is love looking it. splendid. I like uh, the yes. way the unicorn looks a bit fierce. Well, it's, it's supposed to, isn't it? It's supposed to. Yeah. You, know, it's, uh, you don't want to mess with these things. It's, it's a wild animal. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a very traditional technique. It hasn't changed for 800 years. Fundamentally taking two pieces of glass and joining them with a piece of lead. It slots in like a jigsaw puzzle. When you're banging your nail in, if you slip, you can break the glass. And uh, that's really not what's needed at this point in time. Once you've cut that, you paint it. In this case, we painted all of these minimum uh, three times. Um, it's gone into the kiln three times. It's been fired three times. And then the gold is the next section, which is um, a silver oxide stain. Just get the last bits of that off. And you'll be able to see in the light there, see the gorgeous golden colour you can get with this stain. The effect of the green as a background, it makes the colours stand you out want more. You want the colours to, they, to... They shout at you more. ...come yeah. out more and... That's magnificent. Mm. It's also quite heavy. Yes. <laughs> Let's put it down now. <laughs> right. Well, like all good presents, um, we are keeping this under wraps uh, from Her Majesty and uh, in a short time, when it's unveiled, it will be the very first occasion that Her Majesty will see it. Well, there you are, you've seen it already, but it'll be unveiled a little later on. That's the, uh, that's the light box which will house the window for the next year, so that'll allow visitors to Westminster Hall uh, to see it when they, when they pass through the hall. Eventually, it will be installed in the window above the north door. Um, and uh, there we are, it'll be in that central panel there. Um, so it'll be in a very, very prominent position and directly facing the south window. Uh, coat of arms of... Queen's father, King George VI, uh, that window, uh, the south window, which really is magnificent, installed in 1952 uh, to commemorate those members of parliament and parliamentary staff who lost their lives in the Second World War. And this completes a kind of symmetry, if you like, which dates back to the days of Henry VIII, because when he refashioned the hall, there were two great windows with the royal arms facing each other, north and south. So when the new window goes into the north uh, side, we will have that symmetry uh, re-established.